I had one of my viewers ask me, hey Joe, show me how to read a tape measure. So I've got a tape measure here and I'm going to go over a little bit about how to read a tape measure so that you can be more comfortable reading and understanding measurements on a tape measure. You want to learn how to do that? Stick around. Let's take a look at this now. I'm in between 8 and 9 inches on the tape measure. Okay. Now every one of these little lines is a sixteenth of an inch between the eight and the nine. So if so if you count them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. There's actually fifteen. And then the next one is the nine, so that would be sixteen. So most tape measures are broken up into sixteenths of an inch. So if I were to tell you right there, that first one right there, that would be eight and a sixteenth of an inch. Well, if you go up to the middle, you know eight is half a sixteenth. So that, you could say eight and eight sixteenths, but nobody does that because that's a half. See, everything's broken up differently. Every single one of those lines is a sixteenth. Okay, but then, and all the little ones, the little small ones, those are the ones you read in sixteenths of an inch. Now see the next increment, see this line here is a little bit longer than that, than, than the sixteenth. Okay, and those are eighths and you can break it up that way. So every other line is an eighth of an inch. But you'll also see that this line it's the same length as that line and that one and that one. Do you see that? So when you read the, and those are eighth of an inch increments, but then it's split up in quarters too. So here's a quarter and there's a quarter. This is two quarters, but that's a half. So when you're reading this, if I were to say right there, that would be eight and one eighth of an inch. If I go to there, that's eight and three eighths. You wouldn't go, this line here, you wouldn't go eight and two eighths because two eighths is a quarter. So you would say a quarter. And those line, and, and so a quarter increments, you would go eight and a quarter, eight and three quarters. This is eight and a half. You wouldn't go eight and two quarters. So see, you've got sixteenths measurements, increments, and eighth inch make, uh, increments, quarter inch increments, half inch increments. So all of that, you put it all together, you know, if I say right there, that's eight and a half, but if I, but if I hold it right there, you know that's one sixteenth less than eight and a half. So that would be seven sixteenths because eight sixteenths would be a half. And if you get mixed up with that, you can always count these back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that would be eight sixteenths or eight and seven sixteenths. Sorry about that. Do you see? It's going to take a while to get used to, but that's how all most tape measures are marked that way. So right there, eight and three quarters. And that's eight and seven eighths. Okay, and the eighths, if seven eighths, because eight eighths is an inch, four quarters is an inch, sixteen sixteenths is an inch. Do you see how that kind of breaks down? So here's one eighth, two eighths is a quarter, three eighths is just three eighths, four eighths is a half inch. Five eighths, you would say five eighths. Six eighths, you wouldn't say six eighths, you'd say three quarters. Seven eighths, you'd say seven eighths. So each one of these smaller lines, just a little bit longer than the sixteenth, this next line, you read those out as eighths. So if you come up to here and you, you would go one, two, three eighths. So on the tape, you got one eighth you would read, three eighths, five eighths, 
seven eighths. On the quarters, you'd read eight and a quarter, eight and three quarters. This longer line here is half way between eight and nine, so that's a half inch. This is three quarters of the way between an inch, so that's three quarters. That's a quarter of the way between an inch, and that is read a quarter. And so that's how you read a tape measure. If you look at the nine, it's just below the nine, you know, that's 15 sixteenths. And a lot of times, if, if I would be reading that and calling out a measurement, I would say eight and 15 sixteenths. Or I would say, it's a short nine inches. And if I tell somebody, anytime I say a short, that means 15 sixteenths. Or if I say a, lo a long nine inches, that would be, what would that be? I'm asking you, nine and a sixteenth. You know, it's just different ways how you want to read something. Okay? Let's read a few more measurements here, shall we? Eight and three eighths. Eight and three quarters. Eight and thirteen sixteenths, because I know twelve sixteenths is three quarters, so thirteen sixteenths is the next line. So on the sixteenth, you might have to think about it a little bit. You know what I mean? And the sixteenth, you're just going to read those small little points. Those are the sixteenth marks. So if I hold it right there, you go, okay, what is that? If you have to start at eight, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, eight and five sixteenths. Eight and seven sixteenths. Nine sixteenths. Eleven sixteenths. Thirteen sixteenths. Fifteen sixteenths. And you're not going to read eight sixteenths. Somebody would laugh you out of town if you said eight and eight sixteenths being so proud of you because you read it right. You don't say that. You would say eight and a half. Okay? Eight and a quarter. Eight and an eighth. Eight and five eighths right there. Nine inches. Nine and a sixteenth. Nine and one eighth. You getting the point here? That's how you read your tape measure. So if I'm going to hold it right there, what is that? That's eight and seven sixteenths. Because eight and eight sixteenths is a half. And you wouldn't say that. And you would go back one from eight would be eight and seven sixteenths. And if you got a question, you can count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven sixteenths. So you're gonna have to just be mindful of the sixteenths, the eighth inches, the quarter inches, the half inch, the three quarters, and that's how you're gonna get by reading the tape measure.